My name is Johannes de Bruyne. I'm the executive chef at Winehouse Restaurant at 10 Bompers in Dunkeld West. One of the most popular dishes on our autumn menu is our char siu glazed duck breast. So it's a local duck breast pan fried on the skin to make it nice and crispy. We've then coated it in a Chinese uh, barbecue sauce which is a char siu and we've roasted that in the oven to give a nice sticky glaze to the skin. With that we've paired it with elements of corn so we've got some fried baby corn, butter poached corn mixed in with barley and we've put a sherry sabayon over that to add a little bit of richness and bind those two ingredients together. Corn pudding on the plate and then we finish it off with corn bubbles over the top of that and a nice Chinese char siu glaze. I started in Harare, Zimbabwe. I was, I was born and raised in Zimbabwe. I spent a year at an amazing restaurant there um, and then immigrated to Joburg where I did a four-year apprenticeship on the East Rand and did my theory through HTA Culinary School in Randburg. Kind of just fell into the kitchens, always knew I wanted to work in hotels. I love hotels. Always makes me feel like I'm on holiday even though I'm working. Favorite thing to cook is a tough one. Uh, like a lot of chefs, I think I've got a short attention span, so we, we change menus seasonally. Uh, it's always something new, always something we're experimenting with, trying to perfect. Um, I think for the most part though, I do have a sweet tooth, so anything dessert based usually piques my interest. So we, we do a lot of herbs, vegetables, um, anything that, that thrives in our soil, in our climate, kind of dictates what we use on our menus as well, because we're looking to keep it as fresh and as seasonal as possible. Inspiration is, is such a wide array of things. Um, I, I'm really passionate about art. Uh, I'm a very visual person. I love nature and, and I come from a background where we spent a lot of time on the farm with my grandparents as well. So literally everything that happens provides some sort of inspiration and, and much like reading a book, you look at one thing this year and, and you don't see what you want to see and you can look at the exact same thing a year from now and have a completely new vision. I, I think a lot of times people join us for a dinner or a lunch and, and experience great food but they don't have that one one interaction with the chef so it's sort of like a, a part of the puzzle's missing and I think the Dine for Six principle is amazing because they get to interact with the chefs personally, they get to ask any questions and, and invariably get information about the dishes which they wouldn't otherwise receive. So I think it's a great initiative.